Welcome everyone to today's podcast episode. You're listening to the Home Design Podcast. My name's Adam Case, your host, and we aim to educate, inspire, and connect South Florida with the industry authorities within their trade. Today, we have one of the most inspiring guests who specializes in adding jewelry to the exterior of your home, all with David Guzman of Hardy Boys. Oh, hello. Thanks for the nice intro. That's what it's about. Yeah, man. All right, David. So, you know, I'm excited about this because we go back a number of years. Um, we met pretty much at your at your beginning, at your start, when you're getting to that next level and you just completely in stride, keep hitting the next level, next level. It doesn't come easy, but before we get into it all, who's David Guzman? Oh, what a loaded <laughs> question, man. Because every other couple of years it changes. Um well, you know, I, I started this business with my brothers, so I, I feel like I am a product of a good family and a good upbringing and been in this business now 25 years. This is our 25th year, but what we're doing currently is like 15 years old, you right. know, and, and really even less when you look at the evolution of machines, but you know, I was a salesman, you know, I started this <laughs> business selling and um, we found a really cool product that was on the innovative side for South Florida in, in Hardy siding. And we started doing that and um, we we're really like the only guys in South Florida doing it. Right. Cause this is a very stucco market. Oh, for sure. And this is like a trim applied to the walls. So it was unique and everybody's like, what are you doing? Like there's not enough of it, but being that small, you know, gave us this opportunity to like, specialize 100 percent. and for people that don't know what or who hardy boys is um, when you're talking siding when you're talking materials when you're talking like paint the picture because i see it vividly from the content that you produce and the types of homes that you're in and out of every single day um and it doesn't have to be all the largest homes but this is a luxury product mm -hmm. that truly changes the appearance of a home yeah and it's when it's done right it's completely different than everything else. Right. You know, so I, I, I consider exterior design elements, you know, and I, my thing is like the jewelry of the home because, right. you know, in talking to the clients, that's what they were saying. They're like, yeah, you put the jewelry. And I was like, yeah, I like that. I'm going <laughs> to stick with that. I'm taking that. There's no royalties there. No, is there? Yeah. no, I promise. <laughs> I didn't have any money to give right. anybody. But, um, you know, it's, it's all about... Um, hitting a high level of design, right? you know, and now it, where we started was we were trim installers, you know, so we bought a product and we put it up and then I saw it. This is kind of to the story of who we are. Right. Um, I saw all this other work on the house, like these wood rafters, these wood soffits, wrapping the columns and um, ceilings and beams and like every, all the details that we're going to talk about, you right. know? And so I went from doing the siding and I'm like, man, I told my brother, I'm like, man, there's a whole other world here and right. I really want to get into it. So we started a little shop and uh, we started making wood products, right. you know, and that's the basis of this business and the system is we're emulating wood finishes, typical, traditional, historical wood finishes, but now we're making it out of cellular PVC, a synthetic material, you know, and through all these years, you know, of looking at plans and working with architects and building these custom designs, because it really was in the beginning, like, right. like we did 10 houses a year, maybe, right, you know, or five, if they were really big, right. And uh, that just grew into like learning from experts, the architect, right. you know, they're the, what they're the looking for. Yeah. And they're the basis of this business and how it all started because I was sitting down with them and learning scale, proportion, design, what's too much, what looks good, what doesn't. And then as we grew and the volume of drawings coming in, then I got to see architects that didn't really know, you know? <laughs> right. So I got to learn. And my brother really is the the, the basis of our design. He does CAD. He does all, it all. I'm just a mouthpiece. And, and I've, <laughs> learned, I've learned it over the years. You know right. what I mean? But well, um, you're, you're given everything the opportunity to put it in the right hands, to have people utilizing it, using it. Um, because, you know, essentially, the more homes your product is on, more people are talking about it, more people are using it, more architects are familiar with it. And, you know, that's what that, you know, really 
evolves into longevity of any brand. Yeah, that's like the building of a brand, right? It's yeah. like you start out by working for people and learning about it, and then you become a specialist and you create something and and become innovative, right? You know, and and then become knowledgeable, like all my education in this is on the job. You right. know, I call it the school of hard knocks. I'm yeah, a LinkedIn no, profile. You know? No, it's for like, sure. <laughs> it's like everything has been on the job learning. And, you know, I've worked with so many incredible architects. They're just artists, right? Literally they're artists and the way they draw. And I learned from them scale and proportion. Right. And kind of going back to like, what is right? What's wrong? How to make something look good. And then through volume, and years, I've seen so many different things. Now, like, my mind just explodes. And, like, when people come to me, I'm able to create new things and new ideas right. and, like, innovate new products. Like, there's so many products I haven't released or talked about because they're being patented. Right. So I can't market them. Otherwise, <laughs> it ruins the patent. Yeah. And that's the thing. Like, you could have a great product, but if nobody knows about it, it doesn't matter. Exactly. You know, so, you know, that's, like, your gift. You're able to really you know, not only get it in front of people, but you build the trust, you build the fact that there's somebody behind it, you know, you're in the field, you're talking with the architects, you're doing all of that, um, you know, so that's what's impressive. Like I, I watch you on every level and, you know, it's inspiring to see what you've done, not only for, you know, your own brand for Hardy Boys, um, but for the industry, mm. you know, you're, you're bringing, you know, exterior elements to a whole nother level. Like people, people look at a home and be like, oh, that was, you know, was great architecture design. Mm -hmm. um, but the elements is what really changes what that box is, mm -hmm. you know, so. And, and like exterior design elements is a big, you know, yeah. window. It's a big grouping, you know, like, you know, we started out in British West Indies, right. Key West, you know, that was like everything that would get siding. So that's all I did for maybe the first seven, eight years. Right. Um, but now architects architects and architecture in general is just evolving it's that that's right. the the world everything evolves right you know look at computers look at the internet look at everything that goes on it's a step-by-step -step process and then people are trying to always push the envelope and that has been my part and my brother hates me for it <laughs> he's just like just stick to what we do and i'm right. always like you know, because I'm the sales guy and I, and, and I hate saying that about myself, but literally I'm in the office talking with these guys and they're like, man, I wish we could do this. And I'm like, so my brain starts thinking. Right. And I'm almost like, uh, you know, staring at them like I can do that. Right. I just, you know, haven't done right. it. And that's where our product line has innovated to so much difference and so much scale in our product offerings. Right. Because like, you know, we were putting up wood ceilings. And then we started putting up wood uh, PVC ceilings, you know, right. and they were white. Right. And they could be painted. And, uh, you know, I found this uh, product that went on vinyl windows. Okay. Across America. It's on mil hundreds of millions of windows. You know, just like, you know, I don't know the exact number, but a lot. Right. And it's been going on for 20 years in the window industry. Okay. You know, they are putting this vinyl safe, heat reflective finish on these vinyl components. Okay. So they don't expand and contract and move and deform so this product actually it's scientific it, i'm not a scientist right. so i'm not gonna start breaking down the molecular stuff to it but basically it has a molecular bond and it only gets 10 degrees hotter than white in a black right just to kind of explain to everybody and that's the thing about our business like i could only make white products or light colored products right so i was like lionel man <laughs> my lionel's my brother right. so if you hear me say that that's what it is because <laughs> he's my he's my better half i you know we're brothers but keeps he, you in check he's he's everything. <laughs> you know, he's the business with right. me and um you know so when i say i it's always <laughs> me and my brothers right. and the team yeah but uh we started talking and i'm like lionel like the architects they don't want just white brackets and right details like they want different colors so when we found this heat reflective finish it was like boom just right. doubles your business, gave you an opportunity. And I started looking at what they were doing and I started playing with it. This has been my baby for like the last nine years now. Right. And it's become like so authentic through trial and error and working on it and innovating this product. So now we have PVC wood ceilings. Right. And they look wood. They people look like, like wood. You yeah, have no idea. That people say, I thought you said you didn't do wood. Cause I always say, we don't, right. you know, and I'm like, 
That's what I want you to say. Right. That's the objective because a lot of people make things that don't look real. Right. 100. You know? And that is, that's every, that's every industry. doesn't mm -hmm. matter what you're selling. There's more of that than anything. It is so hard to replicate the reality of what, whether it's wood or any natural element, that's a hard thing to replicate. And you guys seem to have been able to perfect that. Yeah. And we're still working at it. You know, um, I, I'm never going to say it's done, you know, <laughs> like there's, there's always, um, learning, right. And there's, you, there's always improvement, whether it's for yourself personally or in a business or in the world. Right. You know, and, um, that's what this product line is just keeps getting better. Like we've just built this new factory, had these new machines that we, we custom built, you right. know? And like, like I can't even really talk about it too much because it's like getting patented on yeah, the it's all proprietary. Machine. Yeah. Right. And the reason that is, is because it's really easy in this world to be copied, right. you know, or people like always are like, Oh, I can do that. And then they just mimic it and they right. throw money at it. And, you know, being a pioneer is tough. 100%. You know, the thing is, and it's tough to be in front because everyone else is chasing you. They want to find out what you have, get your knowledge, get your, you know, technology, whatever it might be. You know, it's not easy to be on, on top. I mean, you guys have been leading the way. And even in comparison to some of these, major major brands where they do a simplistic version of what mm -hmm. you do like it is not custom it's not as detailed it's not as perfected but they have a lot of money behind the brands i mean straight up yeah you know it's like yahoo yeah was first right exactly and then google crushed them right so right. i wouldn't say like we were the first to things because there's these billion dollar companies that have been building stuff for years right but you know that's the thing about innovation is you see something and you make that widget better you right. know and you know, like there's a lot of people making products that are great. 100%. I'm never going to be a guy that's sitting here saying like that isn't good or that stinks, you know. Right. But what we're doing is innovating something to make it better. And then that grows, you right. know. So when I say a pioneer, I just mean in my products, in right. my world, you know, um, what we're making is different and it's growing right. exponentially like every day. Right. This mind just... That's the only thing I love about what my mind does is it's always thinking of how to make it better or improve. And, and sometimes in manufacturing, you have to stop, slow down, Without a finish what you started before you go on to the next thing. Right. So Element Stain Series is in that process. Hardy Boys, now HB Elements, um, is, uh, has been making great products for a long time. Right. You know, and they're time tested. We've been through hurricanes. We've been through years of product development and we really don't have failure, man. Right. And, and you know, we're in South Florida. I mean, your product is everywhere, but we're in South Florida. There's a lot of natural elements from heat to rain to every condition, um, salt water, I bugs. mean, and bugs. <laughs> I mean, everything yeah. that can try to destroy a product because it destroys wood all day. Mm -hmm. um, you know, there's a lot of maintenance, but, you know, specifically talking like you, you brought up the ceilings um, and, you know, soffits and things like that and replicating the wood. Um, talking about pros and cons, let's, let's just take it easy, um, to start pros and cons wood versus your PVC product. Um, you know, there's benefits to both. Mm -hmm. Um, but, but tell us why should somebody be considering the PVC products? So, um, ease of install is one thing. Okay. You know, this stuff is, it's a system created by carpenters for carpenters, right. you know, and, and what we did when we innovated, this was, we took, we were trying to make money, right. you know, and like, we were having, like, we were building out in the field and like doing things. And it was, it was, takes a lot of time and the energy that puts in, and then the guys behind you, right. the work that they have to do. See, that's the other part of this system is, you know, not like a footprint and, and, you know, getting into energy, but really like, how many people does it take to finish this? Right. You know, so we put it up, then the painter has to come behind, has to caulk it in, do right. some finish work, paint it, do all that work. And then, you know, there's a whole process of people behind typically finishing everything. Right. And what we're putting up is a very simplistic thing, you know, that has the same looks, just goes up easier. And then 10 years later, Looks the same. Yeah, like wood would need to maybe replace this, do that, fix that, fix the crack, fix the uh, bug rot. rot and even just, just power washing, yeah. staining, yep. oiling, whatever yep. it is, depending on yep. the type of wood. I mean, 
Yeah, That's I feel good. like, I mean, with our product, you still need to wash. Right. You know, oh, we yeah. live in a tough environment. You want to get the bugs off. You want to make it look good. Right. So I don't want to over like... Oh, there's nothing you have to do once you put right. it on. Because that's, that's, that's not that's true. That's nothing. That's there, not, there's nothing that exists that yeah, set it, forget it. I mean, you there's have no to. no product. Yeah. But, you know, to go back to your original question, like what separates it, you know, I feel like every product out there has its place. Right. You know, I don't, I'm not like, no, don't use aluminum. That's terrible. Right. But the advantage of, with our product is it's not powder coated. It can be painted in the field. So you don't have to get pre-finished when you put up an aluminum product and you damage it or dent it or scratch it good luck fixing that that's right. the there's okay so there's an advantage like our stuff can be fixed finished touched up cleaned and maintained over the entire life cycle the other thing is we have a whole building system right you know so you can put an aluminum trellis but then you're going to have wood or pvc or foam soffits so our products all age together they all are maintained together right. so it's like one system one person to care for one person to deal with it you know it's not like you have to have 10 different trades right. and trust me in america and you know because we're all over the country it's a little bit easier but not as easy right. as it used to be oh, labor sure. is it's a different game and in the islands good luck getting a painter Right. You know, good luck getting a carpenter out to come do your little job. Right. You know, so I think there's a lot of advantages. I think there's a lot of advantages to other products, too. You know, I'm never going to say, like, foam doesn't have its place. No. Because it has, it's, it's, there's a price point. Right. You know, my house, you know, I'm a regular right. guy. You know? Right. So, you know, there's price points to what I buy. You right. know, I do have my columns. Right. I do have my stuff um, because I just used it where I could afford it. Right. Because exactly. nothing's free. And the thing is, that is a great way for any, it doesn't matter what type of home project it is, interior, exterior, whatever it is, there are those key points that are going to be impact plays for the design and what the process is, where it's worth it to splurge. Mm -hmm. And, you know, that's a great point because, you know, everyone doesn't have to just come in and say, hey, I want it all, mm -hmm. you know, because that might not be attainable mm -hmm. for everybody. But, every home deserves it, deserves it in some capacity. Sure. It, my wife said it so intelligently. <laughs> I'm, I don't want to ruin her words, but she was like, you know, Dave, I have a Louis Vuitton clutch. You right. know, I have a, a, you know, I don't have the purse that's 10 grand. Right. I have the $800 this, or, you know, somebody, you know, there's so many products where you, maybe you don't buy the Porsche, but you buy the really nice rims right. and you get some effects on it. Um, you know, boats, you know, you can go down the list of Everything every product. In life. You can still make something great by using some key elements to really make it better yep. for you and, and suit you in your price point, in your, you know, in your house's design, you right. know, like my house can't use certain things because I'm in an HOA, right. but I can use it on certain things, you right. know, and that's like, Something I think super important, you know, like we did this past year, probably like 600 homes. Wow. You know, and there's compared like, to 10. Yeah, five when, yeah. At the beginning. I mean, that's impressive. I mean, yeah. that is something like, you know, you're a modest guy. You're not going to go out and, you know, but that is impressive. When you sit back and think, you know, 10, 15 years is not a lot of time mm. to go from, you know, 10 homes is like, wow, you know, we, you know, we're there's getting there, there. <laughs> to 600 homes. Mm. I mean, that's a lot. Yeah, and there's like some projects when I say 600 homes, we have 100 homes. Right. There's uh, 500, you know, we're doing a big development in Caymans. It's like a thousand units. But, you know, I don't, yeah. you know, I no, can't without quantify that. You know, like I don't want to be unrealistic in right. what I talk about. I need people to understand in those 600 homes, there's like 200, 300 of them that spent five to 20,000 right. versus the hundreds, the 200, the 500 right. or the million exterior, you know, cause we have that full range. And I always want people to understand that Hardy boys is made of a group of real people, right? you know, right. and like, we're right. realistic about things. Like we're not trying to sell somebody something they can't afford or doesn't make sense. Right. And that's a, a, a real important part in life. You know, like, you can walk into a dealership and the guy's like trying to sell you the $80,000 car, but you really should be buying the 40. Right. You know, and that's something we look at and we value engineer. We tell people, Hey, you'd probably be better 
stuck in that. You know, it's going to save you some money, and, and let's put it into this. Right. Like, let's get the wood ceiling, or let's put the rafter tails on the front of the house. Right. Let's throw the brackets at the entryway. Let's put one louver. Let's not put them out back. Let's not get crazy. Right. And then maybe you can always call me back. 100%. Yeah. I mean, it's a starting point. And to exactly what you were just saying, I think that's, you know, there's so much synergy between my thought process and what we do here at the home show and what your brand represents, because the truth is luxury should be approachable. Mm. Too many people are intimidated. They don't know where to start. They just see these beautiful homes like I can't get that. So they don't they don't even think about contacting the companies like you Mm. or other luxury brands. Because what they don't realize is that you have something for everybody Mm. and everything doesn't have to be like you said, all at once. It doesn't have to be your entire home. You don't have to have a 15,000 square foot house. You know, you can have that 1500 square square foot house, that 2000 square foot house and your home still deserves the look, the quality. Um, And it's a starting point. You don't have to, you know, like I said, you don't have to do it all. When I was at your Palm Beach show. And I was loving it because yeah. I was meeting so many different people and so many different, you know, in Palm Beach, you got the people on the island. Right. That can buy whatever they want. <laughs> yeah. like whatever. And then I had guys that were like, hey, what about my house? And like, literally, I have a testimonial from that show of like this guy came in and he's like, here's my house. And it was, you know, something like I could afford. Right. You know, uh, it wasn't huge, but it was old. And right. he was like, man, like, I love this look. My daughter loves this look. I'm fixing it up for her. What can you do? And I'm like, all right, call me, you know? Right. And I think he spent like 14000 Right. But man, if you've seen the transformation of what this guy got, and, and, and honestly, I felt like it was a deal, you right. know, because we value engineer. We didn't get too crazy on the comms, didn't get too crazy on the deal, but he bought a lot of stuff because as he saw the process, he's like, oh. You know, I can afford this. Right, exactly. I can do this. I just don't have to do it like the the billionaire. Right, you know, or exactly. The, or the millionaire, you know, <laughs> right. whatever. It's like there's there's different ways to design and there's different scales. And right. I always say that. If you have a smaller house, you're not going to have 20-foot tall columns. Right. You're not going to have 48-inch overhangs. You're not going to have a 2,000-square-foot a, a outdoor living. Right. You're in a 2,000-square-foot house. So the proportioning and the scale makes things smaller, which makes it more affordable and less, you know, more cost effective. You know what I mean? And that's the thing about design. Right. Is you design to the client, you design to the home, you design to the price point. Right. And you're smart about it. And that's what my team does. I have a bunch of great guys doing that. And that's what that's what's really impressive and that's what people need to know. So, you know, obviously the fact that you're not just selling products, you're catering to whoever you're talking to. It doesn't matter who the person is, what their budget is. Um, at the end of the day, you know, you're helping people and achieve the look, the quality. Um, but for those people that are listening and, you know, we've talked about the rafter tails, we've talked about the soffits, we've talked mm-hmm. about, um, you know, louvers, you know, trellises, Pergolas, like those mm-hmm. types of things are popular. Very, um, very popular. You know, let's let's tell people the range of product. So that way it gets their mind thinking. Because there's a lot of projects out there that people are thinking about. They don't know where to go to get it. Mm-hmm. They don't know why they should be considering. You know, obviously we were talking about PVC versus aluminum versus wood. There's pros and cons. There's advantages to everything um, and disadvantages. But Let's run it's through. What the, are all the products? Like so, uh, so, yeah, I mean, you went down like a good chunk of the list. Yeah. You know, it's a, so we have Element Stain Series, which is a stain finish that goes on our products. Right. And there's a price point to that, too. So I don't say that I put it on everything. But right. we put it on rapture tails. We put it on brackets. We put it on our soffits and ceilings. Those are the key places. But you see in my catalog that we have it on pergolas. Right. You know, people want wood and they're willing to pay for it. That's good. It, it is a process. It's right. not like it just... You put a sticker on it and it's done, <laughs> right. you know, so there's a cost to it. And, and that's something we're innovating and working at to get it more affordable. Right. But for right now, you know, element stain series for ceilings and soffits. Okay. Then you have the rafter tails and the soffit panels, which encompass the, the perimeter soffit system. Right. Then you have columns, which is on every house. Right. You know, are my columns for every house? No. Right. Because there's different designs and stuff, but, um, louvers, Privacy walls, pergolas, trellises, um, you know, that 
kind of encompasses, I think, the the bulk of it. All the know? exterior because solutions. With every, when you say brackets, yeah, we have 2,500 different designs, and then they can be in a thousand different sizes. <laughs> right. And so colors. I mean, infinite. <laughs> yeah. it's infinite, you know, and that's the really cool thing with architects that they love about us. It's like, we're about to release a design catalog and we're going to build it online where people can actually build their brackets and do innovative things for themselves, that's awesome. which that's going to be cool. That's going to be fun. Um, the rafter tails, same thing. You right. know, there's ones that go underneath cantilevered porches, that are huge, that look right. like they're structural beams holding up something. And then there's ornate ones that are on 12 inch soffits, you right. know? So the scale and size, this is something that I say it a lot because I think it's so important. Right. You know, I think it's important, you know, architects, I see it. And I'm not, I'm not diminishing architects when they don't do it right or something's out of scale because maybe that's what they're thinking. But a lot of the times what it is, is they're so used to working with companies that have, What's in the catalog? They're five, six profiles. They buy it. It's easy. Put it up. And that's where they get into things that are too wide, too right. tall, too, just wrong scale, or maybe like it just doesn't look good. You And I get picky driving around because this is what I do. But the, the reality is our catalog of designs is a big differentiator for us and everybody else. Right. And that's just 20 years or let's call it 15 years of creating this portfolio. Right. And my brother just took a lot of time at night drawing things. Right. And then we started playing around with it. And like, he made these grids of all these, it, it's like a beautiful mind kind of, like <laughs> right? but it's what it is. It's what makes it cool. Right. And it makes it like expansive and it makes it easy for people to get what they want. And then they can use us to help them proportion it. Right. Without a doubt. And, you know, we've, we've talked about, you know, all of these different varieties. And, and when people are pricing things out, it's not just pricing out, like, what does this product cost? Because you're not even getting into the process and the installation yet. Mm -hmm. So I want to go over, like, doing it right, pricing it correctly, you know, the, the reality that products do fail. We went over how wood can rot, stain, you know, the, you have to, you know, there's maintenance to anything. Mm -hmm. um, somehow, you know, like, People, it's not just all about cheaper. It's not cheaper product because the installation could cost more. And you guys mm -hmm. have perfected the system. You know, what tips can you give people to budget their projects and look at it appropriately so they're not just looking at, you know, because obviously people they need to get quotes. It's not just like, okay, your product is X amount of dollars and wood is this much less, so I'm going to save. But no. There's a process. There's a lot more labor. Um, you know, there's finishing, there's maintenance, there's everything as far as long term, you know, to be able to factor it. Are there any quick key elements? So for sure on soffits, um, I think, well, in anything, quantity, right. quantity. Right. Let's let's just talk about that. And, um, you know, like I always when people want to like value engineer. Right. My first thing is open up the spacing on Raptor Tails. Right. On brackets, use less. Put them in the key spots. Use them to their value. You don't have to do the side of your house. Right. Like, so right. There, there's two little things. Also, the size of things. Right. You know, um, the ornateness. When you start adding more turns and scrolls and, and embellishing these products, that increases the cost. Right. So, like... I, I always tell people like, let's get simple. Less is more. Right. You know, and let's not get or like ornate is, is great. Right. <laughs> they're, they're, it adds beauty, but also when you're looking at it on a dollars and cents thing, let's dial it back. You know, let's not get the Ferrari. Right. And let's get the Corvette. Right. Or whatever you want to. Right. <laughs> whatever, <laughs> whatever the analogy is. Yeah. No. You know, the, the reality is, you know, those are things that are huge. Right. You know, when you start talking quantity, because if you pull, you know, um, 50 things off, but you're still getting almost the same look. Right. There you go. There's, 100%. And then you're there's less labor. Right. You know, so labor, like, I think you were talking about that. And I think that's a huge thing to talk about. Right. You know, I have problems hiring for my own factory. Right. Um, finding people. Cause I, I, I do recommend people 
uh, for installs that depending on the job, but any carpenter can put this up. We ship this out to islands. I don't right. have a set of guys on an island somewhere, right. <laughs> you know. And what we're able to do through technology is actually have site meetings, right, on Zoom or WhatsApp or FaceTime, you know. So it's really cool right now with technology and building. That's like a fun part of our our world is where that's what's scaling us is right. like the ability to be anywhere, but at home. Right. You know, like exactly. Through COVID, we were at home, but now we're at our factory. You, you can be everywhere, and and you know to build comfort for like contractors that are listening to this. Like oh, I don't know as far as installation, the process, knowing it, you guys are available to make sure. That Absolutely. it's installed properly. I know you guys are big on video content. You've done an incredible job. You show the process. I've I've learned how to install, mm-hmm. you know, rafter tails and, the, you know, from different things that you've put just out, out there, you know, through video and content. It's really interesting. Mm-hmm. And the simplicity of it to make sure that somebody who's never done it before, they can do a perfect installation. Yeah. So, you know, we have all kinds of instructions, right? right. We have videos that show it, you right. know, the, like I said earlier, this is a system built by carpenters for carpenters. And right. the reason I say that is because the, if you, so in my business, what did I do for the last 20 years? I hired people right. that were carpenters and they worked for me. Right. And I woke up in the morning and told them what to do. So that guy can be anywhere in the country, right. anywhere in the world. And literally, have the same process right you know it's step a b c and d this is what you do you're a carpenter what would you do if it was wood right exactly you're going to use the same tools everything's the same all the tools there's no special equipment right besides to make it you know but out in the field it's the same nail gun same screw gun same chop saw same blades same jigsaw same everything so give me a guy or girl right give me Gal, gal, sorry. <laughs> you give me a, a tool belt and, and, and equipment and let me just tell them the process. Right. And they can put it up. And the great thing I always tell, like when I'm selling this is like, listen, I don't want to give you a, an installer. Right. I want you to use the guy, you know, the guy, you know, is going to show up. The guy, you know, doesn't lie to you exactly. and say he's going to be here on Tuesday, but he's gets there on Friday. The guy that you paid already, the guy who is insured, by you right. already have him in your system. You know how much he costs. You know what he should cost right. by the hour. And and these are the things that boom. When I say that, carpenters, the contractors are like, oh, that awesome. Oh, I love that. <laughs> right. Oh, I don't need a specialty specialty tradesman to come out with a truck full of special tools to put right. this up. It's simple, but it's beautiful and special. Right. Without yeah. a doubt. And, and before you were mentioning styles and design and the types of architecture, you know, I've noticed this year, you guys have gotten into some modern elements, oh, yeah. things that PVC and your products have not necessarily been accepted to prior. Mm-hmm. Tell us about, because a lot of new construction, I mean, you see all different styles everywhere, but I mean, we're in South Florida, everywhere you look, it's modern, modern everywhere. So many elements, they use a lot of natural surfaces. They use you know, tiles and porcelains and woods and um, travertines and coral. I mean, so much, but PVC, you know, you're breaking into the market and I've noticed that, you know, getting into that modern element. Yeah. That was part of like where my element stain series, like really started to explode right. in my head because I was like, Oh, there's all these houses. So much opportunity. Not, but <laughs> yeah. It was also like my FOMO. Like I was missing out on these yeah. projects, you know? So it really became something that I was pushing for that. And right. so we've created all kinds of building products that fit that, you know, the thing about a modern home is it's very clean right. and it's very uh, crisp lines. It's not over the top in detailing um, walls. And so they do use, in a major way, natural elements right. to make these homes have a softer feel. 100%. Because they're, they're, you know, they look sterile, There's, they're cold, they're a box. I mean, literally. Cool. Yeah, they're very cool. cool. They're yeah. very cool. And, and I love, like, that's the cool thing. I love, I don't know if anybody noticed this yet, but I love <laughs> architects. And I'll tell you, because they're, they're not, it's not about business. Right. But it's because I have a passion for building and designing and creating and, and, they're really the artists that have right. taught me, you know, they're the the ones that have shown me the way 
through their their artistic abilities. And you know what I've seen is an explosion in a unique detailing, and it's it's really cool to see the modern become so right. popular. And then, you know, our PVC elements are becoming a part of that. And it's really cool to be a part of it and not miss out on a really cool part of architecture. Right. You know, but that's the whole thing with the authenticity. Right. Because that's still the 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 crossing point like with architects are like, um, it's PVC. So I always say if you can tell the difference, I'd be surprised. Right. Because it's so authentic. And then what are you giving this owner in this modern home? Right. You're giving them uh, a lot of these houses are on the water, right? Oh yeah. So the refinishing, the upkeep, the replacement, the maintenance on this stuff. I see it. So yeah, it's like, let the architect be the hero. Like, yeah. what do you mean? I don't need to maintain it. Yeah. <laughs> you know? I mean, yeah, you can wash it, you know? Right. And I'm actually, it's so funny. Like I'm <laughs> such a nerd that now I'm figuring, I made videos on cleaning. Right. This stuff. Yeah, I've noticed. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> I mean, because that, that's something that people, you, you can't just assume anything. And yeah. that's a huge part of the, you know, the, the pros, to what your product yeah, because you don't want to just go out like when you wash a car what do you do you yeah. don't just spray it down and then walk away because then it's got dots all over it right so you know i i noticed people were like oh i can just hose it off i'm like no no just hold right. on you can it works but you know there's minerals in the water and right. they can leave rings so like i showed them tools and in a process to clean it that right. works incredible. And I started, um, I love Dawn dish detergent, right? Because, you know, I see those commercials where right. they're cleaning the tar off ducks and, you know, birds and wildlife. And I'm like, if it can clean that, it can it clean, clean it, right? it <laughs> So I started that, like, I, I use it as a brand. Like, I'm like, use Dawn. Right. Because if you use something. They didn't sponsor you, did they? No, no, <laughs> no. But, you know, you can damage things by right. using the wrong if you get abrasive, right. if you get harsh, if you put mineral spirits or lacquer thinner on my finish, just like a coffee table, right? just like a piece of furniture, just like anything else in the world, it's no different. right? But if you use the wrong products to clean it, then you damage can damage it. it. And it's the same thing. That's why I make videos about painting with heat reflective finishes because as great as the product is, here's the negative. right? You paint it with the wrong paint. You can have catastrophic failure. Right. It can damage. It can overheat it. If you use silicone caulk, it won't adhere. So you'll have peeling off. It might not happen the day it's on, right. but it will do it later. So I like people to understand that like every other product, nothing is right. 100% bulletproof. Nothing <laughs> is in this world. So there is care and maintenance. There is ways to service this and care for it and paint it and finish it and fill it. Right. There are steps and processes and, you know, other products don't have those things, you right. know, like maybe a, a foam outlooker. Right. It can be less expensive, first of all, because it's foam and the cost of the materials is less and the labor to make it, it's just a hot knife going through a piece of styrofoam. And there's no guy really having to do a ton of stuff to it to make it look good. Right. Because everything we make comes from a flat sheet, you know, and it's it's plastic origami, you know. Right. So there's more to it, um, which makes it great, too. But, like, you know, I don't only want to sit around and say how great Hardy Boys uh, HB Elements is. There's other products that do things that are great. There's other products that stink. Right. In different environments, like, and I'm not going to name bash, but right. there are products like you can't use in this environment because of its harshness, right. because of the humidity, because of the bugs, because of this, because of, you know, and, you know, I've seen over 25 years, I feel like just about everything on the exterior. Right. I don't claim to be an expert in anything but exteriors. <laughs> so I'll just clarify that. But when it comes to building products, you know, there's cement fiber, right? There's vinyl, there's stucco, there's PVC trims. There's all kinds of like uh, bamboo and rice oh, um, yeah. integrated stuff. There's uh, aluminum with skins on it. There's all these things that have value. You know, the building world, if every house was just my products, I don't think it would be as beautiful, yeah, right? You know? so exactly. Let's, let's be real that there's a whole world of building products that all have value right in their place. Wood 
can be valuable, like Ipe. Oh, yeah. It, it ages and turns silver, and it's cool, you know, and it lasts pretty good. Right. You know, but there's other products, like, you know, that could be better depending on what you're looking for. Right. You know, and it's knowing the application. And, our, yeah. you know, a lot of my owners are very smart. Right. A lot of them have built, this is their second, you know, some of them are older, some of them are newer to the ownership world. But when you've had a house that requires maintenance, you really think about it on the next one. Yeah. Oh yeah. And there's like, I can't tell you how many of my clients tell me, Oh no, I wouldn't do this. I only would do it this way. And you know, and it's like, I wish I had that on video, but you know, it's, there's a smart buyer out there now. Right. And there's an educated buyer. Well, they're doing their homework. Yeah. 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 And, and I respect it. And I, I respect the questions. I respect the, the use of other materials that fits their world differently, or maybe they had success with it on their other house and they don't care. But I will say this last year I was working with a builder from New York and he came down here, he's building like it's incredible properties. Right. You know? And you know, like I had given him prices and he's like, no, I'm going to do it this way. I'm like, what are you using? Just, just so I know. Right. And he started telling me the products and I'm like, you know, Hey, I'm not telling you what to do, but there's a right product for everywhere. Right. Whether it's your kitchen, your bathroom, your flooring, your ceilings, your roof, your windows, there's a right product for everywhere. Right. And that is not the right product. You know, you cannot put MDF outside. Right. You cannot use, if if you want longevity, if you're just doing a speculative and you don't care what the next guy is going to have, you can get away with murder. Right. You know, but, you know, using some types of woods that are soft and they're very suspect to bugs and moisture. Right. And these companies sell them as like, oh, yeah, you can use it. And it might work in New York. Right. It might work in Michigan. It Go to California, go to Oregon, go to Arizona where there's a dry climate. You can do totally different things. Right. But in a, in a moisture-rich, salt-rich, eastern, western, southern, whatever seaboard, there's certain products that have to be used right. or thought about because that is where people make big mistakes. And I've seen it. I've replaced it. <laughs> I've, I've been involved in jobs where people are like, saving a couple bucks and what is it stepping over a dollar to pick up a penny yeah this is a problem in this world well that was that was uh part of my point earlier i mean the thing is like people are so focused on the immediate but they don't account for the costs of the future um and you know sometimes you have to spend a little bit more to get a better result later and better longevity and you know don't just shop prices shop shop the products and and know in the questions but you know something you know, we've discussed a lot today. Um, something that I was wondering as you, as I listen to you speak, is there a question that comes up more often than others that people, whether they're doubting PVC or question it or, or anything like that, people don't really know uh, when it comes to what you do? You know, do, do is there a question or a couple questions that you're asked? Like, well, so everybody, you know, if you say PVC, that that's like a, a word that is kind of it's like gross, kinda, right? Like in the that's a stigma, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like oh, like the plumbing. You know? I, can, I mean, I can relate to that. I mean, there's a stigma for home shows, but come to our show, it'll be different. Yeah, and you I know? could I could speak for that yeah. straight up. I appreciate it. Yeah. It's a great show, and it's you know not to get off track, but it is a great environment for businesses to showcase their products and meet the people. Right. Appreciate and I that. think that that's like something that needs to be said, you know, the home show offers something great, not just to clients, right? Your, your clients, like the, the, the products, right. But to the people, right. Because you asked me that question. What is the question? They, is it going to look real? What does it feel like? Right. What it does, does it look like plastic? Cause they're thinking of the fence, right? The exactly. extruded PVC <laughs> fence that's shiny and white. And it's like, no, right. But I can't tell you that over the phone. And I always say, look at my portfolio. Do you think all those people, <laughs> you know, but I can't, you can't be rude. You right. know? And, and so the home show enables people to come in, talk with the manufacturer talk with the designer, talk with the products and feel the products, see them up close and realize what the guys are telling them in the catalogs 
and on the internet and on the phone conversations. There's, there's a, a discerning client that wants to know and they want to know more and they want their, they're, they're kicking tires. They're checking it. They're, they're touching the upholstery. They want to know. And that is the great part of the home show and shows in general where the, the public can come in and learn because this is a very informative society. Everybody right. wants to know. It's no longer I trust my builder. Right. You know, it's no longer I trust my mechanic. And then when you find it, you stick with that guy. And he might not be the smartest guy or might not know all the greatest things. So going out and, and being in the world of building and design, which the home show gives, it gave me. And right. I loved it. And and that experience for them, I see it with the, the, the homeowners right. walking through. They're like, oh, oh. All right. And that learning is what you've created and you're building this. I call it a community. Right. Because it's you don't have schmucks at that show. And right. I that maybe that's <laughs> not PC, but you have the right people. You have honest people. You have people people can trust. And when they're listening, it's not like just a, a hard sales pitch to get them to close the deal. Right. It's like, here, look. It's information. Yeah. yeah. And then you walk away and you didn't sign a check, but you've got a, a world class education and an upfront learning from the professionals and visually seeing the product. Right. So it's a beautiful thing, you know, and I think that, you know, to answer your question, like, what's the yeah. question? Right. Yeah. It's like, what does it look like? What does it feel like? Like, and I'm like, look at the pictures, but in the same respect, I can't, I have to respect the client right. and what they need. Exactly. And they want to know what is it like? So that's a huge question. Right. You know, is this it? And it, when you put our product up, I'd be hard pressed to see, you know, the difference between wood, even though like on a rafter teller bracket, right? Cause that's what it looks like. Right. And then if you really want it to get authentic, then brush it and make it look, you know, don't have a spray finish. If you don't want it so pristine and crisp, that's one of the things that we're doing now. Right. It's like, say, Hey, brush it, roll it. You know, that'll right. give you a little bit more of a, a less refined like the imperfections. Yeah. Yeah. It'll give you less refined look. And right. So that's a big question. Um, how long does it last? Right. You know, so this product will last forever. Right. That's why we started a recycling program, you know, because there, it's not going to degrade even right. below the surface. This, that nothing can happen to it. The only thing that could happen to it is if you take an ax to it and damage it, you know, or a bat <laughs> right. or do like a hurricane, a 200 mile an hour two by four. Yeah, it can, it can damage a, it. Yeah. But it can damage anything. But it can be replaced point. and repaired. Yes. And <laughs> like, you know, that, that's a thing. It can be fixed. Um, you know, it's not like a big aluminum panel where it's dented and you, you got to replace the whole thing. So, you know, is there, you know, I'm inspired listening to you, your story, where you started, where you are now, the process, the evolution, the knowledge. I mean, you are an authority in this space, whether somebody's looking for your products or not, they need to speak with you. They need to learn. They need to know what's available, and what is available to them. But what, what do you want to leave us with? And where, where is David Guzman and the Hardy Boys team in five years? Oh, in five years, um, we're, we'll have distribution, whether worldwide, but nationwide, first of all. Right. That's something that we're currently in the process of. We'll probably have a couple more factories strategically placed throughout the United States to make distribution easier. Right. Um, and we're always innovating. Right. So in five years, you're going to see even more products because yeah. I have some of them being patented right now. So I know that and I'm going to be delivering things that bring value. Um, we're going to have a bigger team. We're going to have more people that can help. We're going to have designers instead of like, I can't do it anymore. Like right. every person I, you know, I was right. on over a hundred jobs last year and it affected my family. Right. And I'm learning the older I get <laughs> um, what, what's important right. and, and family is first and foremost, um, money doesn't make you happy. Right. Um, success is in your own optics. Yeah. You know, like, and knowing what you find success to be is so important. That's the soul search that I do every day. But, you know, I feel like Hardy Boys is going to evolve as a company. Um, we started a recycling program. So we're putting 30,000 pounds a month back into our product. Wow. Which makes us, I feel green. I don't know if like everybody will agree with that. The but sustainability. I yeah. mean, yeah. 
Without a doubt. I mean, it's literally coming off of our machines and going into a recycle bin and going back to the factory and they're grinding it up and putting it in. So that's something that I think is game changing. And I think I want the world to know that we're not just about money. We're about making things better. Right. Improving every part of it. My people, the the people that work at Hardy Boys, we're building a, a team, but we're also making their lives better by increasing wages, getting them health insurance, doing for you know. So yeah, they, it's amazing. This, this company, when it's supported, is supporting a lot of families. Right. And there's a beauty to that. Um, it's something I would say we're very proud of. Is you know we have this tight knit group and I when I do my speeches with my group and I, I tell them that we're a family and uh it, and it's been proven over and over right. to my men and women that when they're down and they need something we support them and and I think that's the beauty of building a business right is you're building great products and all that fun stuff right <laughs> but you're also building a place that's a safe haven for people to work and know that they have somebody that's going to support them and can be there for them when times get tough. Right. We did that in COVID. Yeah. We sent everybody home for a month because we were afraid. You right. know, we didn't know what's going on. I didn't want to have an outbreak in my factory and lose people. So they went home, we paid them and, uh, that built us even, you know, COVID made us yeah. stronger. 100%. I mean, that's the thing. That's the crazy thing about COVID is it forced people to evolve, build their team, dive into their business to realize really who they are. I mean, we did it firsthand. You saw, absolutely. Um, you know, so it's inspiring, you know, people that are listening to this, what's the best way for them to reach you? So I hardy boys, Inc.com, yeah. you know, hardy boys, Inc.com. You know, <laughs> I, I feel like that's the easiest way we yeah. have a really good website. I, and, and I'm not saying that just cause I was involved in it. I'm going to say it because, People tell me it all the time. Right. There's a lot of information there. There's a lot of pictures. There's a portfolio that is 20 years deep. Right. And there's a lot of different ideas on things. But also, you know, it's very, it's a very good place to get information. Right. And I think, you know, once you go there, you know, there's phone numbers you can call us. That's right. very easy. <laughs> you know, like getting in touch with us is very easy. Sending us plans, sending us pictures. You know, we do talk, we do help with design. Right. We're just not fully developed in that because it takes a lot of work. Yeah, you oh, know? for sure. And so I leave that to a lot of the architects right now. Um, but yeah, hardyboysinc.com. And something I want everyone to know and, and you know, open your phones because social media is powerful these days. You get inspiration. Obviously, you guys are on Instagram, all the social media channels, Hardy Boys Inc. Um, at Hardy Boys Inc. But I want everyone to... Go on LinkedIn and follow David because he takes you in and out of projects all day long. He shows you the reality of what it is, not only about his own his own product, but being on a construction site, looking at the process, seeing what is what what your what your home's potential is. So check him out, David Guzman. Um, there might be a hundred of them on there. So just make sure it says Hardy boys. <laughs> uh, yeah, right. But you know, anything else you want to leave us with? Um, just know that um, we're, we're real people, you know, and we're part of this industry because we love it, but also we're just regular guys and gals out there trying to make a living. Nobody's getting rich overnight. This isn't a get quick scheme, get rich quick scheme. This is a business that's made to serve Right. You know, we're here to serve the industry. We're here to serve the homeowners of this world and give them something that they want. We don't want to give them something they don't want. Right. And I think that's, you know, maybe something that makes people at ease, you know. So it's just, you know, a real humble company made of real people from all over the world making beautiful things. It's truly inspiring. You know, like I said, thank you so much for coming in here. I know you're a busy man. I can't wait to come on site, check out your new factory. Um, you know, this facility, it's impressive just seeing the size and what it is, but what it is going to be and how it's going to transform your business. I can't wait to see it. And there's nobody that's more deserving. Um, but for every, all of you that tuned in, listen to this podcast, you know, you can always check it out, uh, check us out on our website at homeshows.net. 
follow us on all social media at FL Home Shows. Um, but until next time, make sure you hit the subscribe button to our channel. Get all of the latest in home design and home improvement. But until next time, stay tuned.